Okay, so in this lecture, we will discuss about uh, what are the different types of flows are there and then what is exactly a button flow, how we can trigger a button flow from our mobile app. So we will see also how we can uh, use your Microsoft mobile app, Flow mobile app in our Android or iOS devices. And then also we will uh, see our uh, three examples, uh, all our uh, button flows. So one is how we can send uh, a reminder to myself in 10 minutes. And uh, second one, we will see how we can get today's weather uh, forecast from my current location through a button flow. And then finally, last one, we will see how we can send a working from home today email to your manager. So how we can use this to send one uh, uh, notification basically to our manager that uh, we are working from home. So these three we are going to see. So first let us discuss about the type of workflow. Sorry, uh, ty type of flows. So if I'll open uh, my flow, so I'll go to flow.microsoft.com and make sure you have logged in. If you have not, not logged in, then uh, just sign in and then uh, you log in with your Office 365 account and once you do that so this is the home page of this flow from here you will uh, click on templates so you will be able to see various templates on that these are uh, based on the functionality microsoft has categorized all these things so first of all if you'll see there is approval uh, flow category so if you'll see here you can start approval um, when a new item is added to a sharepoint list and you can see here also you can send approval uh, uh, by follow up uh, via email so these are various approval related uh, flows are there then the second one is the button flow which we are going to see on on these things in this particular uh, lecture so here if you'll see the first template it is saying send myself a reminder in 10 minutes so it will send a uh, message notification to your mobile app and from your mobile app you can also start this button workflows so button flows so if you'll see here these are various uh, templates are available you can see these many templates are available we will see couple of examples from that and also in different lecture we will see some more examples from here so similarly if you'll see there are uh, mobile uh, uh, mobile uh, notification workflows are there where you will get notification to your mobile devices uh, based on uh, let's say here is an example or a template which you will send a push notification when you receive an email from your boss or the manager so similarly you can if you'll see get today's weather forecast for my uh, current location so these are things which will get uh, notified to your mobile devices uh, through this flow so similarly there are also notification uh, type where you will see uh, a kind of similar templates on that which will send notification so based on this functionality Microsoft actually categorize uh, these things next uh, how we can exactly add a mobile app uh, to uh, or for or to your to our uh, iOS or our Android devices so just go to the Play Store in, in your uh, Android devices and uh, just uh, search for Microsoft Flow and then uh, you can just add it. It is a normal like uh, other app that we usually install into our uh, mobile devices. So you can just add that and once it is added then it will ask you to log in. So log in with your Office 365 credentials and then your Flow app is done. So that means you can now uh, check the flows in your mobile devices you can start flow also if you are approver and if you get some approval request you can also uh, click on that and then you can approve from your mobile app directly you do not need to open your SharePoint site oh, sorry your uh, uh, app or your, or your flow in your uh, laptop or desktop anywhere so you can do everything from the mobile devices apart from that also in the flow app you will be able to create apps so you can create flows by using the template in the mobile devices as well now first example we will see is uh, uh, we will send and uh, send myself a reminder in 10 minutes so if you'll click on that uh, then it will uh, you can see here i just select this template and uh, if you'll see uh, down here uh, it is asking for a notification so you can uh, just click on this notification you can see here it is already connected so click on that 
and uh, then come down here if you'll see uh, it is saying create flow so click on this create flow so this is the create flow button i will click on create flow and uh, now what it will do is it will create the flow so if you'll see uh, it is showing the details of this one uh, what is this flow all about and if you want to edit you can just click on this you will be able to edit the description things like that and then you can run in the run section you can see your flow has not been yet started you can click on this run to start it and the connection and the owner you can see it here so if you want to see what is there in this flow exactly you can just click on this button here from this ribbon so once you click on that uh, edit button you can see this is our flow so you can if you click on this delay you can see here it is it will wait for 10 minutes and then it will uh, send a notification on that if you want to change it you can just change it here similarly in the uh, uh, send a push notification if you'll see you can see a reminder by flow you can have something in your uh, uh, text and if, if you want to have a link you can uh, probably add a link over here you can see here uh, if anything you want to add from your dynamic content you can add it here and then you can provide a label here for this particular example we are not changing on these things so we will just come back here just go back we have saved this you can click on this save so anyway we have not changed anything here now next what we will do is you can uh, click on this run to start it so if i want to start this in the browser so i'll click on this run you can see here and it is saying continue just click on that and then uh, you can see uh, uh, no additional input required so click on run flow so once you click on run flow uh, the flow will be run uh, will run once you can see here so it is running and after 10 minutes if you'll open your uh, mobile device you will be able to see that a notification will be there in your uh, uh, in your mobile so i will not be able to show in the mobile so i have taken some screenshot on that i will show you how exactly it will appear in your mobile device so if you'll see here just click on the flow up this is the home page you can see here and uh, a home page will open by default the activity tab where you'll be able to see if any approval is there you can browse and also this is the button so if you'll click on this button you'll be able to see your button flow so you can click on that and uh, then you'll be able to see the details you can see here this is how the message that i got uh, so reminder by flow this is the text that we wanted it and if you have put any kind of link or text something then it would have been come here so this is how actually you will get notified on this now next example what we will uh, see it so this is about the send my uh, self a reminder now i'll go to again uh, to the template section and here i will again go to our button flow or you can go to uh, your mobile flow notification flow anything you will get the template or else you can search in the template also you will be able to get this template so next example we will see is get today's weather forecast for my location click on this so once you you will add it so uh, you can see here flow button from mobile so it is fine and this is the msn weather that it will uh, it will show us so here click on uh, create flow so once you will create the flow as you know this is a button flow so you have to go to your mobile device and then you can run it so you can see here and now it is loading the details page so this is how the flow is and we can see the details of the flow here about uh, the flow details about the connection details and the owner if any uh, if if the flow has been shared with any other users then you will be able to see it here also now if you'll see we you can just edit, i'll just edit and show it once you can see here i just click on edit and uh, the flow trigger uh, based on uh, some condition so if country is united states so you can see uh, this is how we can uh, uh, it will run it so uh, you can also put a condition if you are selecting any other countries if you don't want to put a condition you can delete it and you can just directly uh, get the for forecast so if i'll come back here I have already saved this flow now i will just click on run once so you can click on continue and uh, then you can run the, this flow remember if we can uh, run this flow from this browser apart from that also we will be able to run this flow from our mobile app 
so you can see here the flow run successfully done this is done now so now let me just show you how it will appear exactly you can see here this is the button flow will appear like this so you can see this is a button if you click on that the flow will trigger and you will get a message like this whatever the temperature uh, you can see here high 30 degree and then low 22 degree uh, so 60 percent chance of rain is there so this is the pro uh, weather forecast that you can see and uh, you can anytime you will click on that uh, um, this button then it will trigger a message to you with other details the last example that we will see here is we will see how we can uh, trigger a work from uh, work from home uh, uh, email so let me just go to the templates and uh, you can see here under this uh, mobile you will be able to see or in the button also you can see here the button so you can see that there is a template available which is saying that send a working from home today email to your manager click on that and now if you'll see here if we need uh, uh, some permission for that uh, for outlook 365 users because we require to retrieve uh, the manager name or the email address and then our office 365 outlook because we uh, will work with email as well and then the notification so now click on create flow and uh, you can see here now our flow is uh, you can see here this is our flow is all about and uh, if you'll see now so this is the flow details and uh, this is the running status there is no instance running now and these are the connections that we have now on this if i will edit this uh, flow we will be able to see the logic behind on this particular flow so now if you will see here uh, this will trigger manually and then if you will see here uh, uh, get my flow is there so now if you will see here uh, we can uh, get my profile and then you will be able to see uh, you will be able to get the current profile of the user and then this is what is the manager so manager email address you will be able to get it and if you have not set up a manager we can do that from our azure portal so click on this and i will see here portal uh, dot azure dot com and i will show you how we can uh, set up the uh, manager for this particular user so you can see here this is opening our azure portal from this azure portal click on this active directory azure active directory you can see this one so once you click on this one it will show you the group users all these things click on users you can see here this is my user uh, so it will show you all the users so you can see these many users are there and this is my particular uh, user i will show for any other user so let's say uh, this is one more user i will just select it click on this user name and uh, then if you can see here i will click on edit so once you click on edit you will be able to see details about this user you can see here um, uh, the user name first name last name all these things and then if you'll see this is the manager field it is blank now so remember if you have a blank uh, manager then it will the flow will not uh, run successfully so click on change and here we can uh, i will select a particular user and now Bhavna will be the huge uh, manager for uh, Padmini so you can see here this is the user now click on save so this is how actually we can uh, set up the manager for uh, the user so once this manager is uh, uh, is uh, selected then we can uh, send the email uh, notification or uh, things like that so you can see here work from home email will be there so if no manager found then it will uh, uh, send an uh, email notification like this if manager found then you can see here it will uh, send this object body like this it will uh, send so and also it will send a, a push notification on that so two things it will send one thing is the email and another one is the notification in your mobile uh, devices so now let's go here and we will click on run so once you click on run continue and then you can see here run the flow so this is how the flow runs successfully and we will be able to see the push notification as well i will show you how it will exactly appear you can see here 
this is how a, uh, this is how the button workflow will appear and then this is how the notification uh, email the notification push notification will get in your mobile so this is how uh, we can uh, this is how we can uh, work with uh, this mobile flows and uh, button flows and in the next lecture we will see some more examples on microsoft flows